What is up everybody and welcome back to our channel. If you are new here, my name is Carissa and my husband's name is Ethan and you should definitely hit that bigger subscribe button and become a part of our family. So the question that everybody is thinking about being asked, it's, it's down, it's coming down right here. Right here today on my channel um so i am going to be talking about my 2019 resolutions and also now that it's 2020 my 2020 resolutions um i am going to be talking about my ones from 2019 so i can reflect on them now that it's 2020 and see what i actually did and what i didn't because i do want to every year i do want to do these types of videos and i want to see and i want to look back and see if i actually did it see if it actually worked for me um, and see kind of where my resolutions take me. So, got my coffee. We're in the living room and also if you hear music in the background, it is the music that we have on for the kids because it is nap time. So, they are napping right now. But, don't worry, I have my ear out for them in a walkie, a walkie talkie. I didn't write anything down. I probably should have before I started this video. Maybe I'll do that real quick so that way I don't lose my train of thought. Give me a second. So I'm back. Um, so I did just go ahead and kind of write and jot everything quickly down. I will, I don't honestly remember all of my resolutions that I had last year. I remember a couple. Um, but I am going to get a specific notebook for my resolutions and then to keep track of like the year um, because I do really, really want to take this seriously now. We're just going to jump right into it and go ahead and start with my 2019 resolutions and talk about how my 2019 was. First, definitely, definitely no surprise. Um, it was my first, my number, my number one, I know this for a fact, my number one resolution for 2019 was to lose weight. Now, if you know me and if you've known me my whole entire life or since I was around my teens and in high school and middle school, you know that I did go through, um, a weight change a lot and it's no secret and it's no surprise you you can tell I know I have gained weight but I do just want to kind of talk about this um lightly it does still kind of affect me I will not lie about that when I was in elementary when I was little I was um tiny I was perfectly and I I was healthy and I was little so I didn't really care about my weight. I didn't really care but I definitely noticed that my friends, a lot of my friends were smaller than me. Um, I will try to insert pictures of everything that way you can kind of come with me. I was small but I definitely wasn't the smallest. Um, and that was in elementary school and then I moved to Mechanicville in middle school in my sixth grade year and I was average. Um, I definitely was not skinny but I definitely was not overweight. I was kind of like between, I was still healthy. I am still healthy. I've been, I just want to say that I have been healthy my entire life. I definitely was not the smallest um, and I knew that and I really, really, really tried to when i hit middle school i really tried to focus on my weight a lot probably too much um and that's when i became depressed and had all that um i'm not gonna go f so much into that because that could probably be a whole nother video that i might do and i've been thinking about doing along the road i was bullied a lot in school for a lot because of my weight i mean i thought i was let me just tell you um looking at it now i am stupid um i will put a picture i will put pictures up um i thought i was fat i thought i was fat af um i thought i was disgusting i thought i was huge i thought i was obese i thought my body was disgusting and i hated my body um and i look at it now and i'm like i wish i was that fat still and i use the word fat very very lightly because nobody is fat everybody is beautiful the way they are and it's just 
fat does not define anybody at all in no way shape or form but i definitely thought i was big and this was like my whole middle school sixth through eighth and a part of ninth so i'm like what was wrong with me because i would love to be that tiny again it then brought me to i got into a relationship when i was in eighth grade i think between 7th and 8th grade, I got into a relationship all the way up until my 10th grade year. Um, so we were together for quite a while, three, three years. I was happy in the relationship at first. So I found myself gaining a lot of more weight. And they say that when you're in a ha happy, healthy relationship, you both gain weight. And let me tell you we definitely gained weight um I could see it and I grew to be um very unhappy with my body um and I really really hated it when 2019 came around that's when um I met Ethan in 2018 I was very very happy um I lost some weight, but I wasn't really like losing it. I was kind of like, kind of putting all of my fat in muscle, but I was also showing my fat off a different way. Um, people definitely thought I was skinnier and lighter than I actually was, but that's just because the way I wore my clothes and the way that I acted and the way that I looked. But I definitely was bigger in person and I was definitely bigger than people thought. So I started dating Ethan. And I was super happy. Um, obviously, I love him to death and I'm still super, super happy with him. Um, so 2019 came and I said, I'm going to lose weight. I'm going to get fit. I, I'm going to focus on my body. Um, and that was, that's actually another one of my resolutions was work out weekly. Um, so these ones kind of go together, lose weight and work out weekly. Um, so... I told myself, I was like, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna work out, and it's gonna happen. For the beginning of 2019, I actually did it. Um, I was healthy, I was eating kind of healthy. Now I freaking hate water, and I knew I was never gonna be able to drink water, so I tried to drink water, but it never actually worked. So I worked out weekly. Um, some weeks I would work out three days, some weeks I would work out five days, and a couple of times that I was working out, I actually did work out six days a week for an hour, which was very, very bad. And then 2019 was, let me just tell you, 2019 was a terrible year, but also a very, very good year. I became a lot lot more than normal stressed so I stopped working out and I stopped focusing on my body and I did gain a little bit uh, more weight which I'm definitely not proud of that was my number one 2019 resolution um and I failed at it completely the workout one definitely I was I was going strong for the first couple of months of 2019 and then I just I got stressed in February I got even though I had a full-time job in 2018 in 2019 in February I had like a full full-time job I actually worked seven to six and after I was done working I was super super tired and I was just hungry um, because I didn't eat all day so I just kind of stopped working out and I stopped focusing on what I eat and it just brought me um, to a very bad situation. It was not a resolution that I went through with, which I'm very, very upset with, but it just happens. Moving on because I've been talking about this for eight minutes. My next resolution was quit drinking soda. Now, everybody's gonna look at me and be like, what? That is like, people who are obsessed with soda, they're gonna be like, how the hell that you didn't do it? Um, now, let me be completely honest. January, I did not do it. I did it for like a couple days and I was like, nope, fuck this shit. I am drinking soda because 
I was one to actually never like dark soda. I've only actually drank Mountain Dew, Sprite, and like not dark soda and I was obsessed with Mountain Dew after school I would go to Cumbies because I used to walk um and I'd get myself a Mountain Dew every day so it was really hard for me to quit drinking soda a lot of people say it's it, it'll make you lose weight like yes it will make you lose weight but it's definitely not the main thing it's definitely not a big thing like um there's more to not drinking soda anymore than just losing weight it's so much healthier for your body you feel clean inside um so i read a lot about what soda does to your insides and i was like i'm done i'm not drinking soda anymore i'm cutting i'm quitting cold turkey and you bet your ass february 1st came around and i quit drinking soda i have not had a sip of soda since february 1st i haven't even had a lick a taste a touch of soda um and today is january 2nd um now it hasn't been a full year yet but february 1st which is in less than a month will be a full year that your girl has not drank soda and let me tell you i am so so proud of myself like it's stupid to say because it's such a small thing but I am so freaking proud of myself that I stopped drinking soda because I used to only drink soda. I would only drink soda. February, March, April, and pretty much May, all the way up until summer pretty much, it was super hard for me. Um, it was really, really hard, but my parents and Ethan got me through it because I told them I was like this is happening like don't get me to drink soda like don't and Ethan was definitely a big help because anytime I wanted to drink soda he would yell at me and tell me no and take it from me um so definitely without them I probably would not have been able to do it but it was really really hard well what helped me was lemonade let me tell you lemonade helped me a lot because like I said before, I hate water. I knew that I wasn't going to be able to crave soda if all I drank was water. I needed something to taste good. So I only limited myself to lemonade and Snapple tea, which is probably not that good. But those two were the only things I limited myself to. Um, and those definitely helped me quit because every time I really wanted to taste in my mouth, I would just grab a Snapple and I would just go and I'd be like, we're doing this. Now I am going strong with one iced coffee in the morning, um, sometimes like two or three or four or five, um, but let's not talk about that. That and then water all day throughout the day and then um, like when I go out to like restaurants or anywhere, I will usually get a lemonade. I actually don't drink tea anymore. I've probably, since the end of summer, I've probably had like maybe three or four teas, but that is it. I am strictly lemonade and water and iced coffee. <laughs> Even though it's something small, um, I'm very proud of myself because that was a resolution that I thought I would never be able to do, and I did it. My last 2019 resolution that I can actually remember um, would be be more like into like my skincare and my body care and like my skin because I used to have very very clear skin and very clean skin everybody would always tell me like I wish I had your skin like your skin is luscious and gorgeous and 2019 it kind of like hit me that like yo like you're gonna be adult next year or your skin's gonna look like shit now 2018 guys did i say 2019 shit i can't believe it's 2020 2019 i was like this is gonna happen i'm gonna be more into my skin which definitely 2019 i have been a lot more into my skin and my body hair which you guys know because i'm always talking about skincare and body care over the past couple of months skincare and body care has actually been more I've been more into and I've been more like about than makeup, which is really weird because I'm obsessed with makeup. I, w I wanted to be more into it, which I definitely think I completed that resolution pretty good, but not as much as I wanted to or as I hoped to because 
obviously you're gonna get pimples your skin's gonna break out here and there especially girls because we get our period and stress man like acne comes with stress and don't let anybody tell you that i never have pimples i don't get acne nowhere because let me tell you you still get a pimple whether it's one or two pimples you still get acne that's still called acne like you still get it so so actually bringing us into my 2020 resolutions I want to be more into my skin I actually want to learn about my skin I think I'm going to get a dermatologist um, in 2020 um, I've never had one and a lot of my friends who are even younger than me that are 16 and 17 they have dermatologists and I have never even been to one or even talked to one so I think I really want to get more into my skin and learn more about my skin and learn like what kind of acne do I actually have? Like, is my acne because of stress or is it because of what I eat? Or like, is it because of both or just like what? I just want to learn more about it because even though I like skincare and I like body care, I like to try new things, but I feel like I'm trying too many things and maybe I can't find like the right thing for my skin. For a little while, for a couple of months in 2019, I did have a routine set and I was, my skin was super clear. Well, not like clear, clear, but like it was clear enough to where I was satisfied with it. Um, and then I got super stressed the end of 2019. So it kind of went downhill from there. So a lot of my acne right now is definitely because of stress. I do want to learn a lot more about my skin and just learn about like what I could do to make my skin less like this. Obviously, don't be so stressed. Let's hope that 2020 brings me less stress. One of my biggest resolutions this year would be to learn a lot more about my skin and to know what works for my skin and what doesn't and to find a set skincare routine even though i like to try new things and i like my little skincare fridge i like all these little bad and bougie shit but i do want to just find something i want to find a set face wash i want to find a set moisturizer set eye cream set oils set like all those goodies i want to find one specific thing that works for me and that fits for me and maybe try like a new acne treatment from a dermatologist or something something along those lines um i do want to be more into my skin um this 2020 so next i'm not really going to talk a lot about this but next resolution would be continuing no soda i think that i'm going to be able to do this for probably the rest of my life because now i look at soda i'm like ew how do you drink that? Like, that is so disgusting. Um, I'm really trying to get Ethan to quit soda with me. Um, he's actually been doing really good. Um, I think for the past, like, two months, I think he's only had, like, a couple drinks of soda, which I'm super proud of him. When we go out to, like, lunch or dinner or even breakfast, he gets lemonade with me. So, there's that. I'm not going to really talk much about that because I think I'm going to be able to do that resolution anyway my next one would be this is all kind of like together um it would be get healthy work out and be fit and drink more water last year i wanted to get fit and lose weight um i'm not putting on my resolutions lose weight because that is a very big thing and i'm gonna just keep letting myself down just because not because i I know I can't lose weight it's just because losing weight is not like I don't really know how to explain it I watch Alicia Marie and she's all about into fitness and I've learned a bunch from her I read about it um and it's just it's not losing weight it's you being healthy on the inside like you can be 145 pounds but still be thin. She is 140 pounds, I think, and she is still super thin, and she looks like she's 100 pounds. So I do just want to get healthy. Like I, I don't eat a lot. I don't eat junk food. I hate chips. I very rarely eat chips. I don't eat chocolate. The only thing I eat is Hershey bars, and that is when someone buys it for me. I won't actually buy them for myself. Like. I'm healthy, but I'm not. So I do really, really want to kind of like start buying my own food. Um, 
mainly for lunch and snacks because we have a very healthy dinner every night. I love all of my fruits, so I always eat fruit, so that is not going to be a problem for me. I do just really want to kind of get in a routine and kind of see what works for me. Now, I would definitely like to see nutritionists this year, but they are really, really expensive. Um, and to have to pay for that every single time I go, I would definitely like to go and see one at least once to see like where my body is and what I need and then kind of go from there and I'm definitely hoping that I don't do what I did last year and just kind of let myself go I guess and I also do want to start working out again that is definitely something that I want to get more into and kind of focus a lot on and also drinking more water I hate water no surprise since I've got my Hydro Flask from, from Christmas, I've actually been drinking a lot more water than I normally do. Um, I usually fill it up about two to three times a day and I usually drink it all. And I know that's probably not enough water for me, but it's a start because I used to not drink any water. And if I did drink a water, it, I would drink a bottle of water and it would last me for like two to three days. Um, all jokes aside, all like judgmenting, judgmental things aside, like... I don't like my body at all and I know it's my fault because I put myself where I am and I'm not blaming anybody else. I don't like my body but I like where I am in my life because I'm happy. So I guess it's kind of now that I'm happy and my mental state is good and it's going on a straight level it's not doing some crazy shit to me I can focus on my body now and get my body to where I want it being stressed and being depressed and not being healthy and also trying to lose weight was not working together and also doing it by myself doing it alone I'm gonna do it this year I'm gonna do it I don't care I'm gonna force myself to do it um I should have already got my gym memberships I'm already slacking my next resolution would be kind of goes along with the last couple focus on myself 2019 was a rough year a lot of happened in 2019 kind of a little recap um i got engaged um we got married i graduated i turned 18 and got my first two tattoos and now i have five tattoos um Mossy got hit by a car and it was the worst thing of my entire life and I became $5,000 in debt already and I'm 18. Um, we moved. We lost a lot of people in our life after we got married. Um, which you want to know what? I'm not going to... I definitely stressed over it a lot. We both stressed over a lot when it happened. But it's 2020. We're happy. We're married. Nothing's going to go back and change we're happy we love each other and we're gonna be together for the rest of our life i hope and if you don't like it i'm sorry there's nothing you can do about it so if you left that is your fault and it's your problem and we're not gonna chase anybody and we're not gonna force anybody to stay in our lives so there's that I definitely also gained more people. I became a lot closer with my friend group again. I tell you, it was great. It made me feel a lot better about myself. But it was very stressful in between. Um, if you know me, you can have been trying for a baby. Uh, that will be a whole another video um, because I actually do want to talk about that because a lot of people are asking me a lot of questions about that. It's the worst thing to wake up and have your period and see that oh hey I got my period this month so it's been pretty stressful I I definitely don't regret anything in 2019 at all but I'm definitely saying peace the frick out 2019 hello 2020 now that I'm married I have my friends back we're not in debt anymore <laughs> Um, and just kind of that I have my life together, I now want to start focusing on myself and what the future is holding for me. I opened up my own bank account. Um, I had Sefq. 
um, with my dad. He was, well, it was actually only mine, but he was the joint on it because I was too young. But now that I'm 18, I opened up my own and I'm at Key Bank. I'm getting freaking rid of Seth Q because I hate it. I do want to start saving money. I want to hopefully start a family this year. And I just want to be more about myself. That's a big thing that I want for 2020 would definitely be to focus more on myself and my body and my mental state. The last thing I have on my list would be to be happy. Just live life one step at a time and just stop being so stressed over everything. I tell this to everybody all the time. I actually just said it to my parents the other day. Um, but tomorrow is never promised. So just live today like it is your last. And I just, that kind of goes with focus on myself. I just want to be happy. I just want to stop being so stressed and so depressed and worry and just everything i'm just gonna be positive i'm gonna stop i'm gonna stop being so negative that is all of my 2020 resolutions and all of my 2019 resolutions that i did and didn't do so now next year when we're going into 2021 i can look back and say hey i did that because i know i'm gonna do it i'm i'm gonna do it and it'll kind of just be like an eye opener like hey like be proud of yourself because you did that if you are watching this and you watch this till the end thank you because you are one of the reasons why that i'm gonna be happy this year that concludes this video um thank you guys so much for watching and also don't forget to hit that big red subscribe button and become a part of our family and kind of go with us and go with me on this journey of focusing and being myself and just learning more about myself and my body and what I need. Watch this video and then on the 31st of December, watch this video again and do me a favor. See what if you can tell that I've changed, that I'm happy, that is it. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you in the next one.